Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. Tonight I'm going to be doing a very exciting video for you guys. I am going to be rating my 20 food fragrances in my collection. I have about 20, right, 23. So I have about 23 fragrances in my collection that have in a note of oud. But I am going to be giving you actually 24. I have about 24 fragrances in my collection that have in a note of oud. But tonight I'm going to be rating my top 20 oud fragrances. Now recently a subscriber of mine asked me to rate all my Middle Eastern fragrances. Now I had already planned to do, you know, a video about my out of my top 10 or rating my oud fragrances in my collection. But, you know, seeing as though she asked, I decided, you know, um, to kind of like broaden the range a little bit. But I'm not just going to be including my Middle Eastern fragrances. I'm going to include my Western fragrances, my designer fragrances, as well as my niche fragrances as well. Just because I think that you guys will be intrigued to see, you know, my thoughts, my opinion on how I rate my Middle Eastern fragrances in comparison to my niche fragrances on my designer perfumes. I just felt it would be kind of like interesting to see really how I feel about, you know, the variation of oud and the doses of oud and the fragrances that I have in my collection. In addition to that, considering that majority, most brands use um, synthetic oud, which is sad, but good in a way for a package because <laughs> um, real oud is very, very expensive, as you guys know. So unfortunately, those high priced designer fragrances and niche brands, they do tend to use synthetic oud as well. But yeah, it would just, I think it would be interesting to see how I feel or how it measures up to my Middle Eastern fragrances in my collection, which is a lot less pricey. So if you guys are interested in hearing, you know, how I rate the oud fragrances that I have in my collection, then by all means keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for supporting me. I truly appreciate your support. Now, this is going to be somewhat of a long one. I'm going to try to make it very, 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 very quick, okay? <laughs> I'll try my utmost best, but I have my 20 here. I'm starting from the bottom, go up to what I consider to be the number one best food fragrance in my collection, which is going to be a surprise. I think you guys are going to be surprised. <laughs> but yeah, so let's just get right into it. So the first food fragrance I'm going to be ranking for you guys is going to be Ragba by Latafa. Now, this is an entry-level fragrance into the world of oud, and this is what started my whole crave into oud fragrances, okay? Now, Ragba, this is a sugary, sweet, sugary, sweet, vanilla-y, incense -y, woody smelling perfume. You get the oud, but the oud in here so is very, very smooth, very, very light, you know, very um, easy introduction into, you know, the whole Middle Eastern um, Oriental vibe. For me, what's most prominent in here, so is the sugary notes, you get the incense. The incense is really strong. The vanilla and the woody touches in here is what's strong. But the oud in here, it is very um, slight, very minimalistic. Beautiful fragrance. The longevity on this one, I would say I can get a, I can get solid eight hours. Not only can I get solid eight hours, I know a lot of people have stated that there has been a reformulation when it comes to Ragba. Hello, people. I wore this last night. I doused myself in it and I almost had to take a shower before I went to bed. I was a bit scared of how, you know, the fragrance would have bothered, would have bothered me when I, you know, actually laid down in my bed and I covered up because it was coming off really strong, you know. So for me, this perfume is quite strong. When it comes to projection, it has um, a little bit more than moderate projection because you smell it while you're wearing it. It's a constant buzz while you're wearing it. As for... You know, people around me, if they're smelling it, I'm not quite sure. But this is a um, a moderate to strong smelling perfume with a moderate to strong projection. The lasting power on this for me is like seven to eight hours, definitely, no doubt, okay? And it's a beautiful perfume from Ragba, from Latafa. So if you guys are interested in, you know, trying out oud fragrances, if you're afraid of Shagaf Oud, you can try this one out. You would thoroughly enjoy it. Well, if you're into fragrances like this. So this is Ragba by Latafa coming in at number 20. The next fragrance that's coming in at number 19 is Ragba Wood Intense, which is the intense version to the, um, the Ragba, the one I just spoke about. For me, this one is a 
a much more fresher, eerier, sweeter, um, caramelly, woody smelling perfume. You get the essence of the oud. Oud is dear, but it's not, it's a more woody. Okay, so this is Ragba Wood Intense. It smells more woody, okay, a lot more eerie. You get the caramel essence in here, really sweet, really beautiful. This is not a climb fragrance. I consider this to be quite refined. This is very well blended in my opinion, okay? The oud in here, it's in the backdrop, but it's a beautiful caramel woody blended fragrance with some oud. If you guys don't go for ragba, if you're not into ragba, I think this one is a little bit more easier because it's the incense in here is not more, not that strong. So this one kind of leans a little bit more closer to Western fragrances, but still, you know, it still, you know, it still retains that Middle Eastern vibe to it beautiful fragrance especially for the fall when it comes to the wearing experience i do think the ragba stands up a little bit stronger this is still a bit more lighter as in how many hours this one lasts i say i say you get about five to six hours of smelling it that's how long i smell this perfume on me so like i said for me i think it wears a little bit more lighter than ragba it doesn't project as strongly as ragba either but still a very beautiful fragrance. So this is Ragba Wood Intense. The next fragrance coming in at number 17 with the note of Oud is Balal Oud by La Taffa. And you guys probably are familiar with this one. This is a clone of the famous, famous Oud for Greatness by Aimicio. For me, the Oud in here is very minimalistic. It's quite soft. And it's the same way for the original one as well, for the, the original, you know, Oud for Greatness. What I get from this is mostly that saffron combined with some sweetness. And of course, there is leather in this one in particular. So you get the leather, the Oud is in the background of the leather. There's like a hint, a slight touch of Oud presence in this perfume. Beautiful nonetheless. Okay, once again for me, if you can look past the leather vibe to this perfume because I want to say this is a dry leathery vibe in this perfume. Some people say that this comes off a little bit masculine. I think this is a beautiful perfume. Okay. I mean, that's just my take on it. It does have that, you know, background root vibe like I said to you guys, but it's more stronger. It's more prominent. The scent profile is a lot more prominent. Um, it lasts really long. Okay. But it's very fine. It's like a very fine, it's a finely blended fragrance. So even though it hasn't leather, it wears smooth, quite a, like kind of close to the skin. Okay. But it lasts really long, which I find to be very impressive. But once again, if you guys are skeptical about trying oud, you can definitely ease your way into it by trying this particular fragrance out. I personally would not spend the 280 quid for the original okay it offers more or less the same thing i wouldn't so if you are curious you should definitely try the clone from latafa next we have blue oud from the latafa range and this one is coming at number 16. now what i'm doing is walking my way up as in the more intense the presence of the oud is in these fragrances and how i like my ouds so in comparison to the three first fragrance that I just listed, the oud in here, so is it's amped up a notch more. But this one here, I'm not quite sure what the notes are because I couldn't find any, you know, notes on this one. But once again, this one here has in um, um, it smells like jargons, wood, and oud. Jargons, wood, and oud in this perfume. There's something in here, so that's a slight bit headache inducing for me in particular. But in comparison to the other two, this is a step up when it comes to oud. I don't consider I don't consider this one to be a safe blind buy. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. It is a bit more eerie, a bit more fresh, sweeter. Okay, it's not very sharp, not harsh. It's not in your face, anything like that. It does last. You know, it has a decent longevity on it. I would say you get you can get at least six plus hours. I have not worn it longer than that to exp, you know to tell you guys you know how much more longer this perfume lasts. But the oud in here is a lot more prominent, a lot more stronger. Okay. But in my opinion, it's still a decent, you know, entry-level oud fragrance. But it's a lot more riskier than the uh, the first three that I just listed to you guys. So this is Blue Oud by Latafa. So the next fragrance is Calumet Black by Arabian Oud. Now, Arabian Oud is what you would consider to be a top-tier, um, you know, Middle Eastern brand. 
the oud is meant to be a lot more refined of you know a lot more um better quality than you know the average lower price oud fragrances from the middle east um but it's still a lot more refined okay so this is borderline you know middle eastern and um western oud the oud in here is extremely light okay you definitely get it for me with this perfume here so you have some um albanum in the opening some albanum and i think there's some bergamot in the opening vanilla and oud and i think some sandalwood in the base it is a soft sweet sandalwoody oud smelling perfume very tamed very refined very beautiful and this is a very safe blind buy very safe entry level fragrance when it comes to oud like this like i can't tell you this is so, it's just like, you know, one of the, um, I wouldn't class it like, you know, Ragba and Ragba and um, Ragba Wood Intense. It still smells a little bit more refined, you know. The wood in here is very, very minimalistic, very, very, it's barely, it's barely there, but you do get that, you know, there's a kick in the background and that's how I describe my wood, my fragrances. It gives you a bit of a kick um not a harsh vibe to it but somewhat of a buzz um the longevity on this one here so i would say about six hours plus this projects it has moderate projection okay but for me this is a beautiful perfume from arabian oud and if you are interested in you know trying out a lot more a much more refined um a high quality fragrances i think you should definitely explore the arabian oud fragrances so this is calamat black next coming in at the number 16 spot i have tobacco oud from tom ford and I placed this fragrance at number 16 because before I bought it, I did a lot of review. I read a lot, I watched a lot of reviews about this fragrance. And a lot of people highlighted that the oud in here wasn't that prominent. And when I smell this perfume, it, I would agree with that. This smells like tobacco, wood, and oud. So the oud is in the background, but the wood is making up the majority of this fragrance. This is a very... Um, genuine tobacco fragrance i love it because of that very genuine tobacco fragrance um the wood is quite quite pleasant it is very much um standing out in this perfume even outshining the oud and the oud are the oud vibes of this fragrance is lingering in the background barely lingering in the background so for me if you want to explore oud this is a very easy fragrance you know to wear like i'm telling you this is not a risky oud fragrance at all nowhere close to it my middle eastern fragrances you know top this perfume when it comes to oud you know ripley's believe it or not so yeah for me tobacco oud is definitely a safe entry level oud type of fragrance that is if you can tolerate tobacco because again the tobacco and the wood is more stronger than the oud presence in this fragrance how long does this perfume last this fragrance gives me, I want to say about seven hours. You don't smell it constantly. I don't consider this fragrance to be a major projector, but you do catch whiffs of it. So that's a tricky one. It is fairly new to my collection, but what I found very interesting because, you know, people said it lasts really long. And what I find about um, some of the private fragrances from Tom Ford's private collection, a lot of people say they don't really last long. So that is one of the things I tested out with this one in particular. It's definitely, um, it definitely lasts. It stays on the skin. It doesn't project, like I said, but you definitely catch whiffs of it while you're wearing it. And I think that's quite impressive. So yeah, Tobacco Oud from Tom Ford, another beautiful offering and very much an easy entry-level Oud fragrance. So this is Tobacco Oud at number, at number 15. <laughs> at the number 14 spot, we have Opulent Musk by Latafa. Oh God, this is such a beautiful scent, you guys. This, once again, it opens up with the um, that Baccarat Rouge vibe, but the saffron is very strong. So you're not getting like a burnt candied sweetness in here. So like in um, Baccarat Rouge, what you get is an in, it is a very prominent saffron opening, very strong. And then you have your oud and your musk, beautiful, you guys. I mean. It smells way better than Baccarat Rouge. I mean, I've said that already, right? But this is a beautiful perfume. Once again, this is a notch up. The oud in here is a lot more prominent than tobacco oud from Tom Ford. The oud stands out a lot more. It's much more present. It's a lot more heavier. This fragrance does not smell, you know, flat. Beautiful fragrance. The oud in here is quite pleasant. 
it is still not majorly Middle Eastern, okay? The wood in here is, um, how do I describe it's it? It's quite soft at the same time. It is not really refined because the fragrance is still, it smells quite heavy, in my opinion. I think that's a difference. Middle Eastern perfumes, it, they tend to be a lot more heavy, heavy and a bit more rougher than the Western oud fragrances. The Western oud fragrances are a bit more refined. The oud in here is still heavy. It's still in the background, but it's definitely a lot more present than in the Tom Ford tobacco oud and, of course, the Calumet Black. Beautiful fragrance. This is another perfume that lasts about eight hours. It has moderate projection, but the scent profile on this is so sexy. So, so beautiful, you guys. Like, I'm telling you, this I consider to be a safe blind buy. Considering that, you know, if you if you are familiar with Baccar Rouge, it has a Baccar Rouge vibe, but a lot of musk and the oud in the background. But yeah, Opulent Musk by Latafa, beautiful fragrance. Coming in at the number 13 spot, we have Kayali Invite Only Amber. Now, now the oud in here, it's laid back. It's definitely in the background of this perfume, but you get it. You get the tobacco, the sweetness and the cherries, the honey and the vanilla in here. It's a really sweet perfume, but you get that like slight buzz to this fragrance. There is an ever so slight buzz to this perfume from the oud in here, and it's beautiful. A very easy wearing experience when it comes to tobacco and oud. Very much on the feminine side, very sweet. This one wears very close to the skin, but it projects quite decent. I don't think the projection on this is moderate. It is beyond moderate, okay? This perfume, it projects quite beautifully. And while you're wearing it, it it's kind of like, uh, it almost comes across a little bit loud, okay? But, yeah, I haven't gotten any compliments with this one because I haven't really, like, you know, worn it out a lot. But when I'm wearing this fragrance, you know, alongside other perfumes on my skin, this perfume, it projects a lot more and it stands out and you can smell this fragrance quite strongly on your skin. As for how long this perfume lasts, I would say give it, it gives me about five hours on the skin, okay? It definitely gives you five hours solid, one hour of projection, okay? But the oud in here, again, very pleasant, a very easy wearing experience. Entry level oud as well, not very hard. So if you are skeptical about wearing oud, I think you can definitely try this one. Oh, and then at number 13 is Sir Al Shayla by Swiss Arabian. I love the oud in here. Now this is where the oud gets amped up, you know? So this one here, it is spicy, oud, powdery. There's some rosy touches in here. I think there's some, there some spicy notes in here. Now. The oud in here, it hits in the nose a little bit, again, because it's coupled with the spicy touches, okay? Um, it's a very interesting smell to this fragrance, but what I can say to you, um, I would say it's an acquired taste when it comes to this one. It's still not that hard to wear. It's very much different. It's not like how you get your Western fragrances, okay? Um, we're going towards the Middle East when it comes to this one big time. But I love it, you guys. I love this, you know, the, where the oud is done in Swiss Arabian, um, Saw Al Shayla. For me, when I think about oud fragrances, this is the direction I want to go in. So if you guys have experienced this perfume, then, you know, that for me is how I like my ouds. And that is, um, I would say, in comparison to the oud perfumes that I have smelt, this is quite good and it can be compared to some of the best wood fragrances that I have smelled. That's how I feel, you know, in my opinion. I'm still fairly new, but for me, this is an, an impressive oud smelling fragrance that amps it up a notch from, you know, those safer oud perfumes, those entry-level oud. I would say you have to be a little bit more seasoned, okay, when it comes to oud fragrance to so dive into this one. But it's still a very beautiful perfume, you guys. How long does this last on the skin? To be honest with you, I wore this the other day and I didn't get very, very long. Um, I'm, I, I didn't really smell it while I was wearing it. You know, that kind of way. Um, I'm not quite sure if it did linger on my clothes or whatever, but I didn't smell it for very long. I would say I got about like four or five hours when it comes to this one right here. And the projection was definitely, obviously, it wasn't that pronounced because I hardly smelled it while I was wearing it. So this is So Al Shayla by Swiss Arabian. So coming in at number 11 is Santal Royale by Guerlain. Now this is a very well raved about, well respected, you know, oud fragrance from the Guerlain range. And I give it its props. 
once again, right, again, so like I said to you, the oud in here, in my opinion, it's compared to some of the best ouds that I have smelled. Not that I'm that much experienced when it comes to oud fragrances. These are similar. That is to tell you, these smell similar, okay? There are some fruity notes in here, some peach. This one is a bit more powdery. Um, the Santal Royale comes off a lot more sweeter and a lot more spicier, whereas this one here comes off um, the oud in here. So it still is not as refined as the Santal Royale. So if you get me when I when, you know, when I say to you, this is how I like my ouds to be done, the oud in here so is a bit more refined than in Swiss Arabian Solar Shale. I still consider this fragrance to be an easy wearing experience. Even if you are not that into oud, um, I think you guys would enjoy this perfume, you guys. I was pleasantly surprised. You know, I know a lot of people say this perfume is um, really strong and it's not very versatile. I don't get that with this perfume. This fragrance is very easy, somewhat soft. Um, when you're wearing it, it has moderate projection again. When it comes to longevity, um, it lingers on the skin, but again, because it has moderate projection, it does go to a skin scent after a couple hours, like after three hours, it gets more closer to the skin, but it has a beautiful oriental, you know, remnants on the skin that is just really, really beautiful, you guys. Really soft, very smooth, sweet and pretty, um, you know, dry down on the skin. So for me, Santal Royale, another easy wearing experience when it comes to oud fragrances. So I think, um, I don't know if I would recommend entry level people, you know, people who are just trying out oud to go for this one just, just yet. But it's, you know, it's a quite a pleasant fragrance. So this is Santal Royale by Golem. Coming in at the number 10 spot, Sheik Al Shayak from La Tafa. Now this is a little bit heavier in my opinion. This is where it gets really strong, okay? This is very close to Shagaf Oud. It is a lighter, a bit more airier version, a little bit more transparent. It's not as dense and as thick as Shagaf Oud. It smells the same way. You get the rose, the saffron in here. This is not like a Baccarat Rouge. It's nothing close to Baccarat Rouge at all. You get the rose, the saffron. There's some caramel, some woody notes in here. Now, this perfume comes off a little bit heavy, okay? I don't know if it's a sweetness or uh, whatever it is, but again, this is like a more transparent version of Shagaf Oud. Don't overspray it though, because it would have the same effect that Shagaf Oud has. This is strong. Okay, this is a strong, long-lasting long perfume that can be most definitely clean. Uh, but I say that this is a um, a safe blind buy. I think it is. It's a definitely a safe blind buy, but you got to go easy on it. This does not have moderate projection. This has a very outstanding, strong projection when you're wearing it. This perfume lasts it's punchy. It's not really punchy because it's not a harsh perfume. It just has a very big scent bubble, a very big scent trail to it. And again, it projects. It's loud. Like people around you will smell this because my mother-in-law has this perfume. And when she walks through the house, you smell this on her. Okay. So this is definitely a very solid offering from La Taffa. So this is Chic Al Shea coming in at the number 10th spot. So coming in at the number 9th spot is Appellant Oud by La Taffa. This is not a safe blind bar. Oud in here, so it's quite prominent. It is strong. It is heavy, okay? This one opens up with some saffron, some florally notes, okay? You do get some woodsy notes in here. There's some oud, amber. Um, there's some vanilla and some caramel in here, okay? This is a compounded fragrance. This is a very much a resinous smelling perfume. It smells woody. Um, I want to say... It's probably the caramel combining with those woody notes. It almost comes off a little bit smoky in my opinion, but I'm guessing it's the oud in here. The oud in here, it's a little bit thicker. It's a bit more stronger. It's a bit, um, it's quite heavy, okay? So which I, which is why I say if you are just getting to oud, this is not a safe one. It's a strong fragrance. These fragrances here are quite smooth. There are no harsh openings. It's not punching in the face, but when you wear it, this one definitely projects. It lasts and it sits on the skin, okay? This is a very beautiful offering from La Tafa where you 
you get a quality you know oud fragrance so this is upland oud by latafa so coming at the number eight spot we have gold oud by mancera and once again okay all these fragrances here the santal royale by Guerlain and the swiss the so al shela they all smell similar the oud in these three are uh, quite the same but this one is a bit more in a bit more you know present okay so if you guys can appreciate this one then you can definitely get a feel and idea of how this smells okay and of course this one here so it's stronger than all of them but it's the same oud in all of them that's how i feel about this fragrance okay now the gold oud this is a citrusy spicy um rimey oud smelling perfume okay you got oud and oh, this has it opens up with that note of oud there's some saffron there's some citrus notes some lemon truly some vanilla some woody notes some guayac wood in the base this is overall a rimy citrusy somewhat spicy oudy smelling perfume there's also some leathery touches in here but the leathery touches just add a bit of like a bit of edginess in the base of this particular perfume beautiful fragrance you guys and this here, I kind of like, I was debating back and forth where to place this perfume. I love Mancera Oud. When you want like a real, the real Oud vibe, well, I'm not going to say it's real Oud, but as close as possible to Middle Eastern Oud is this one right here, Mancera, okay? And this one here, it just like the Oud in here is a lot more live, a lot more um, untamed, okay? So this is a fragrance that you would want to try after you've, you know, kind of like seasoned to try oud fragrances. But this is beautiful, you guys. And this is what I will consider um, my favorite way to experience oud in my fragrances. Okay, it's like, it's just so present in this perfume. It makes no mistake, okay? Now, how does this perfume wear? This projects, it lasts really long. It's a solid wearing experience, okay? This, I sprayed this on my jacket. Well, I actually mopped up my table because it actually spilled. I'm going to have to keep the cover off of this because the cover keeps taking off the sprayer, which it did just a while ago when I took it off. I sprayed this on my jacket and it lasts about five days, okay? It's like, this is like an everyday oud wearing type of fragrance, okay? But I just, I love the oud in here, you guys. And for me, I put this one at the number eight spot. This is like my most favorite way to experience oud. So yeah, this is Gold Oud by Mancera. So coming in at the number seven spot is Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. Now you guys already know this one in particular. This is your um, saffron, rose, praline, vanilla, and oud smelling perfume. This right here, the oud in here, okay. So, okay, so let me just give you guys a comparison. So the oud in here is similar again to Shikal Shayak. Um, Appellant Oud is the same feel in these particular perfumes. Right. And that's pretty much it. So all three of these fragrances here have a, the same feel when it comes to the Oud. The Oud is a bit more thicker. It smells almost leathery. It's dense. It's sweet. Um, you know, it's quite woodsy. Very strong and very prominent in these fragrances, you guys. Is this a safe blind buy? It smells good. But um, it's not a perfume that's easy to wear, in my opinion, because when I first bought, I, I, I don't play with this perfume too tough, okay? I don't play with um, Shagaf Oud much at all. As a matter of fact, I'm just, like, I'm just warming up to it. I would still even go for Oud Bouquet over this one because this is really, really thick, really, really heavy, okay? I can tolerate it a lot more, but this is a heavy Oud that I barely even spray, even when I'm reviewing the fragrance. This is a heavy oud. This is a strong oud fragrance, you guys. My partner usually wears this perfume, and when he sprays his fragrance downstairs, it comes upstairs and fills up the entire house. So just so you guys know exactly what you're dealing with. The projection on this is a lot more louder than oud bouquet. This is a lot more thicker, a lot more, um, it projects are way more than oud bouquet, in my opinion. So this is Shagaf Oud coming at the number eight spot. Okay, so next we have Amir Al Oud Intense by La Tafa, you guys. Now, this one here, oh god, this is one of my favorite offerings from Latafa, okay? This one here opens up with some oud, there's some sugary notes, some vanilla, some woody notes in here. For me, this perfume smells like a 
a brown sugary woody oody smelling perfume okay it smells smoky it smells like a caramelized brown sugar vibe to this perfume you get those intense woody notes in the oud so there's oud in the opening and oud in the base okay this is not a very this is a safe um blind boy this is an easy wearing experience okay the thing is about this perfume is that it smells like it's coming off like shag of oud but it's still not as strong it's still not as hard to wear i think this is a beautiful perfume I love this fragrance. I, I might be biased with it, but I think it's strong. It is heavy. Okay, it's on the heavier side, the wood combining with the oud and those sugary vanilla -y notes. It's strong, but I do think I think that if you are just getting into oud, you can appreciate it. But I think it might be a, I think it can be challenging, in my opinion, because it's so strong. This one right here, it still has I want to say um, moderate to strong projection. It has moderate to strong projection. When it comes to longevity, I'm not quite sure because I haven't, you know, played around with this one like that. I haven't worn it out of the house. Okay. But it has moderate to strong projection. Absolutely beautiful. We have Oud Bouquet from Lancome. Now, this is a, right, again. So this has a similar vibe to this one right here. So these three all have the oud in here, all smell similar, okay? So you have an idea of how it smells. So again, you have your rose, your praline, your oud, and your vanilla. Rose, praline, oud, and vanilla. It is a bit more deeper, a little more darker, sweeter. The oud in here is quite heavy, very prominent again, a little bit thick, a little bit dense, not as dense as shagaf oud. It's more closer, like, this is like along the same line. This is not for people who just getting into oud. This is heavy and this is strong. I have had this perfume in my collection for quite some time and I don't really play with shaga food. I mean, I don't play with oud bouquet. I'm sorry to say. I have worn it a little bit, spread it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I have, you know, but it's not a perfume that you play with in those warmer months. You have to wear it. You have to wear this perfume in cold months. I sprayed this in the summer and it gave me an instant headache. This is not a fragrance to play with in the... This is not versatile. In my opinion, um, what, I, what I get from this is what I was expecting from Santal Royale. And that's not so. This is much more... It's not more wearable, more softer and easier. The oud in here is lighter than in oud bouquet. So, yeah, you are, you guys probably already know Oud Bouquet. This lasts and lasts and lasts. It doesn't come off. It's strong. It's outstanding. It's worth your coins. It's everything and more when it comes to an Oud experience, you guys. So, Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Solid wearing experience, okay? Coming in at the number three spot, we have Oud Mood by Latafa. And these two smell this, more or less the same, okay? Um, this one here has in your saffron, your pimento, your rose, your oud, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood, okay? The oud in here is similar to oud bouquet, amir el oud, opulent oud. It's the same vibe when it comes to those fragrances. It's not as sweet as the rest of them. It's not as sweet. I don't think it's as resinous and as thick, but... Something about the oud in here, so it's it's a lot more prominent. It's like you you get it more. It's a bit more heavier in my opinion. It definitely smells smoky. It smells um. It gives off a similar vibe to oud isfahan in my opinion. The oud mood. Now this one here, this last, it projects. This one projects just like chic al shoya. You smell it within the house, um. If somebody around you wearing this fragrance, or if you're wearing this perfume around somebody, they will smell this perfume. It definitely lasts on the skin quite long. It's a very good oud fragrance. It's not my favorite from the brand. So I don't really go for this one much. And I think it's because of the, the oud kind of stands out a bit more than the other notes in here. And just kind of like has that notch, which is why I put this above oud bouquet. It has something a little bit more than oud bouquet. The oud in here, in my opinion, is, it stands out a bit more. So Oud Mood, definitely a beautiful offering from, you know, Latafa. 
when it comes to oud this is a very you know solid wearing experience next we have coming at the number two spot we have Mahed, the gold edition from latafa this is a citrusy spicy fresh oudy smelling perfume everything and more okay the oud in here is a little bit more animalic it's a lot more outstanding than all of the other fragrances okay it borderline has a similar feel to mancera the oud in here is a similar feel to mancera but it's a bit more animalic it is a lot more untamed okay i actually let my partner smell this and he was like i don't like the way it smells because it's oud is, is out there it's in your, it's in your face a little bit okay the oud in here is a little bit more it's a bit more oomph. It's it's not it's, it's it's not tamed at all in this perfume. Okay, so it comes out at you. So for me, I like this fragrance, but this is a perfume that is like it's like you're hot and cold with it a little bit because the oud in here it gets unsafe. Okay, the oud in here gets a little bit unsafe in my opinion. But again, beautiful fragrance, and if you want to explore oud. After you've tested out all the other ones, you can try this This one. is Mehed Gold Edition from Latafa. Sorry, it's coming at number three. See, I know something was a little bit off. My bad, you guys. I hope you guys are keeping up with me. I'm going to have to put the numbers on the screen so that you guys can keep up because I'm losing count. Coming at number two is Oud Isfahan from Dior. And long story short, this smells like fire and oud. It smells like a powdery, lightly sweetened, fiery oud fragrance. It smells like fire, okay? Fire and powder. Beautiful. I am extremely impressed with this fragrance. You know, giving us a, um, a Middle Eastern vibe, but keeping it Western at the same time. What they've done is they've played it, they've, um, they went beyond safe. And I love that because I like my Middle Eastern ouds. I like my ouds Dubai style. This went really close to home, really close to Dubai, but still keeping it somewhat fresh and sophisticated and classy. Now, the only fragrance here that reminds me of this is, um, yeah, like I said to you, um, the dry down of Oud Ispahan gives me this. This one right here. So the dry down of this gives me the same feel of oud mood. So you guys can have an idea. But this one smells a lot more premium, a lot more elevated. The quality of this one is really, really good. Okay, it's uh, when I say when I say really good, um, it smells refined and a bit more classy, and it smells expensive. Okay, not that this one smells cheap, but this one definitely smells a little bit more expensive for sure. Okay. How this one um, lasts on the skin. This one stays, even after I take a shower, Udus Bahan stays on my skin. The projection is moderate. A little bit more beyond a lie. This is not a moderate projecting fragrance. Because I sprayed this on my jacket and it was on my jacket for days. Okay. And when I wear it, I kept I kept on smelling it. It was so beautiful. A very beautiful solid wear, uh, wearing experience. Is this a safe blind boy? Maybe not. Maybe not safe. This is... um. An experienced oud lover fragrance okay and it's still softer in my opinion because the next one that i'm gonna list is it's it's really in your face coming in at the number one spot is a perfume that i talked about on my um channel it's a very interesting one because when i smell this perfume um it smelled like armpits so you guys know what perfume i'm talking about okay <laughs> when i first smell this perfume it smelt like armpits to me. And that just goes to show you like your nose has to mature to tolerate certain fragrances, especially oud. Oud is um it's daring, but it's interesting, it's exciting, and once again, in some instances, in some instances, it smells like fire. And that perfume that I'm talking about is black oud by Montal. Now, in comparison to every perfume here, none of them can compare to the projection that this perfume has. None of them can compare to longevity. The oud in here, in my opinion, is animatic. It is strong. It is raw. Okay. And it's in your face. It's a little bit, it smells a little bit soapy, um, a little bit powdery. You get the rose and the oud. 
and there's some spicy notes in here as well and i'm so glad that i can tolerate this perfume okay because this gives me oud like just it gives you oud in your face okay and like i said to you when i first smelled this i didn't know what this was i wouldn't recommend nobody say um blind buying this perfume unless you're seasoned and experienced don't blind buy this fragrance at all okay this is a fragrance you have to scrub off of your skin when you take a shower it will still project on your skin after you bathe it's no doubt okay this is strong oud okay in comparison to every other perfume it is raw it is not that refined it's in your face it projects it's loud it's strong it's long lasting and it's not a safe blind buy but at this point in my journey when it comes to oud fragrances i can tell i love this perfume i don't know how that happened but it smell it still gives you that that vibe. not safe but when you want that full raw oud experience this is it you guys so this is number one in my opinion in my collection and it's very very strong very long lasting and there you have it you guys i tried to make this video really short i was unsuccessful but at least i did it because i've been sitting on this video for a long time <laughs> so here you have it i've just rated my 20 oud fragrances in my collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you sticked around to the end in fact you did please do give me a big thumbs up if you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And stay tuned for more Oud Dominant Fragrances because I'm just getting started. Bye! <laughs>